Elemental just recently released version 3.25 and it came with some wonderful features, one of which is the taxonomy filter feature. I made a video some time ago showing you how you can easily display posts or products in a loop for a particular category or tags. However, this new feature is more like the advanced option for that. So without wasting much of your time, let's dive in and see how it works. So before you can get this feature to work on your website, you need to go down to uh, Elemental and then head on to the settings. Now under the settings, you head on to uh, the features. Now for the features under the ongoing experiment, you scroll down and you see the taxonomy feature. Make sure normally it comes in as a default and then you make sure you set it to active and you can see it requires loop. So you need to scroll down and also make sure that your loop is set to active. Mind you, this particular feature is under the ongoing experiment with the status of alpha, meaning it is not advisable for you to use this feature on a live website. You can probably use it on a staging website or for practice purposes for now, depending when it gets the probably the, the status beta or a stable future status. So let's head on to our editing screen. All right, so now on the editing screen, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're just going to add a uh, a uh, flexbox container container and then i'm just going to give it a padding of 100 ultra so we can see everything we are doing at the center now we hit on add this element we click on add element and then we'll, the first element we're going to add is a loop so we're just going to drag this loop grid and then we'll drop it here now uh we're going to do for the post mind you this feature works for both posts and uh, and product so the first we're going to do is for the post so we're just going to choose a template i'm not going to create any template from scratch so i'm just going to choose from already existing uh templates as you can see i have pretty much templates that i've already created so i'm just going to choose this post loop template and then allow for it to load up so now once it loads up you can see this is it so the next thing we're going to do is just going to click on this plus icon here to add another element and then we we'll search for the element taxonomy taxonomy this feature we just add side this and then we just drag it and then we'll drop it right above here so now and then we've done that uh you can see this option for us to select a widget so we're just going to select loop grid one uh you might be wondering why it's showing loop grid one instead of uh the title of the loop that i added the post loop which is my post loop well i'm going to explain to you what this loop group loop grid one means later on in the video so we're just going to select that and then it's going to give us an option taxonomy now it says we should select uh, a taxonomy now it comes for the post it gives us the uh, uh, option of category and then tag so i'm just going to select uh, the category and then once this loads up it shows us the various category here now you can set the direction you can even set the alignment either to the starting or to the end depending on where you want even to the center so we're just going to leave it at the center and then the next thing we're just going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go to the settings. Now for the settings, you can see it gives us some display elements uh, options. Now here at the first here, it shows, it allows you to select, to hide or show empty items. Now this is also already set to uh, to, to hide. And then um, uh, there is also this feature here, the taxonomy children, which allows you to show um, children of a particular uh, category or taxonomy now take for instance if you go to our category you can see that this people category has children decoration housing and lifestyle and right here we all we just have here is the people so if i should show this click on show you can see that it will now load up and show the various uh children of this parent category people now the next feature here is the depth uh this feature i really don't know its function for now but if anyone should I have an idea what this feature does uh, feel free to add it to the comment of the video now uh, right below it uh, is the first item which we can either hide it or we can we can show it and then we can even rename it and then give it whatever they want and then this one here is a number of taxonomy this feature is nice as it allows for you to show the number of uh, taxonomy that displays here and the situation where you have a lot of taxonomy and you don't want all to show you can just type in the number here and then it reduces it to that particular number and then right below it is a horizontal scroll with this feature if you have a lot a lot of um taxonomy showing the take for instance a lot of categories and then you 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 want 
your users to be able to scroll horizontally to see the various uh, categories with this feature once you enable this it allows you to do that so once you've done that you've saved it click on publish and save and then once you go to preview changes now we'll click on news it shows you the various uh, uh post on the news you click on people it shows you the various post under people as you can see same with decoration and so on and so forth now let's head back so the next i'm going to show you is how this taxonomy future work filter works for a uh, product so we're just going to add another uh, container another container just like we did before we're just going to give it a pad in 100 all around so we can see what we are doing now the next thing we're just going to do is we're going to add a loop we're going to search and add this loop grid now we're going to select instead of posts we're going to select product and then we're going to choose a template i already have a template created for for product as well so we're just going to use an existing template rather than creating one from scratch so we're just going to use my product loop uh, once this is done once this is done now you might be wondering if we can use this particular uh, uh, taxonomy filter for both this and then this as well well for now you can't do that you can use one uh, uh, taxonomy filter for both for different loops so you just need to add another taxonomy filter and I'm going to show you how to do that how it's going to work so the taxonomy search for taxonomy and then we'll drag it here now at the beginning of the video i made mention of the loop uh this loop grid one feature now you can see now we have loop grid two so now what this does is that if we should add another loop to this page it's going to show loop grid three now this enables you to know which particular taxonomy is working for which loop so now after, uh, at the beginning this first one here if you go back to it you can see that we selected loop grid one which is this first loop grid now we now have another loop grid which is now the loop grid 2 so for this loop grid 2 for this loop here we're going to select loop grid 2 so that it works for this particular one so as you can see now since this loop grid 2 is uh, a product loop you can see that the taxonomy options changes unlike that of the the product now we have a lot of uh, uh, options to select from product type visibility category tags shipping class and color so now you can just select the category then you're going to see the various uh, category here and then when you head on to just like the previous one you can select uh, the alignment as well and you go to the settings you can do the same just like what we did during the post uh, we can uh, hide or show empty categories uh, then we can also show uh, hide or show uh, and category with children as you can see what we have here you can do that so um, that is it and that is pretty much it about it right here also you can also enable the horizontal scroll feature you can enable that you can even do the same here like um which is a number of taxonomies that shows up here so if you, if you click on this hoodie you see it works normal it shows you all features in the hoodie go to t-shirt it shows you t-shirt all the products that are, that are under the category t-shirt you go to music it shows you as you can see so that is pretty much it about this taxonomy filter feature this is a, a wonderful feature and i believe as time goes on before it gets to the stable future state elemental might have added some more features to read some more options to read i don't know but as it is right now it has solved a lot of problems there is no need for an additional plugin to to be able to have something like this with this feature you can do it right with your elementor pro so that's pretty much it about the uh, the new elemental taxonomy filter feature so if you're new to our channel please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we drop a new video and uh, feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or you have suggestions and i will be there to reply and help in any way i can so for now bye bye